so the components cpu ram rom motherboard hard disk or ssds different type of ssds also there guys check it okay uh, we will we will discuss that one cd dvd kind of stuff of course we are not discussing that point okay so we will see that's one or two point about it if possible smps and of course floppy disk is not there so these are other devices this is the cabinet so internal views external views cpu and ram we discussed about the ram and rom and cache memory we discuss and bios settings cmos cmos settings motherboard the motherboard components and the connections okay maybe not not only this any place you can go and check it on motherboard what are the components on motherboard components what are the back panel connections maybe you can take any latest uh, two three motherboard kind of stuff and see what kind of stuff is there so back panel each individual one for laptop also you can check it new and laptops motherboard so smps okay. so different voltage levels what is this we had discussed next one is your secondary storage devices secondary and means where it is primary primary storage devices sir ram and rom main memory is ram okay primary secondary primary means ram and rom random access memory read only memory primary memories main memory or a memory generally the terms belongs to ram only okay ram only what is a bios thing it means rom rom chip is nothing but your bios chip rom chip is nothing but a, a bios chip what is bios basic input output system what is ufi unified extensible firmware interface which is a new version of bios like that we can say what is a bios uh, it is a firmware which is useful for uh, it is stores information of your uh, hardware okay, it will gather the information of your uh, hardware connected to motherboard like a cpu information ram information hard disk information cd ram information to it it runs your uh, keyboard mouse uh, sorry sorry the date and time it you can protect it with a password so you just store the your uh, bios passwords we can enable disable of certain features of uh, hardware related features okay and certain settings you can do it uh, for a uh, certain hardware features wise settings you can able to do it in a bios settings okay so these settings date and time bios settings and uh, bios passwords are uh, protected means by in, so when you shut down your pc so these data should not be reset to factory default so to protect that one so we are using a battery called a cmos battery which is made up of lithium 3 volts battery lithium 3 volts battery. so by in a bios settings so the one more feature is that is it will tell boot priority it means when you turn on your computer first is a post power on self test once what is a power on self test system will test itself whether main components are connected or not okay working or not connected and working or not okay if if post is failure then troubleshooting post is successful next step of Boot processing is what is the next step? So it will check in a BIOS in a boot priority. Okay, so what is the first device to check whether there is an operating system is there or not? Okay, so the based on the priority list, first of all, first device it will check 
then second device, then third device. So until it is find the operating system, it goes with the priorities. That is a boot priority list. Okay, that is a boot priority. Okay, that is another point. So your BIOS chip is help to turn your computer or boot your computer. Okay, and also change the settings of certain features of your CPU or uh, other components, other hardware components also, you can do the settings. And it will make an understanding uh, to your uh, operating system. So these are the components. This is the components and location of the components. So it will tell to your operating system. Okay. So the point is, guys, why I'm telling that the particular story, I when I'm showing you about a secondary storage devices, this screen. Okay, this entire screen does not showing anything about a BIOS. Or a BIOS chip, or a ROM chip, or RAM chip, anything not showing anything. Any picture also not showing. This is a motherboard, this is SMPS, SMPS connection, this is a secondary memory storages. Yes, looking at the screen and see the material and explanation is okay. Animated is also okay. <laughs> okay. Understanding is different, listening is different. Understanding is little different. Looking at a, a moving picture or an animated picture or maybe a, a just a picture. Like this picture. Looking at this picture and um, try to get understanding is different. A, looking at a blank screen. Looking at a blank screen or looking at some other place, other face. You have to recall the things what you learn, put it in a lines, proper lines, try to explain it. Then only your recollection power improves. You can tell an answer how much we are looking at a book and how much we are try to explain or how much you are read, how much you are uh, read five times, hundred times. It may may not be improve your presentation. Presentation improves only by presenting. That uh, I am presenting with the help of these PPTs, right? With the help of these PPTs and pictures. So this picture I have taken from Google, right? So like uh, by showing the pictures or by showing certain video, by showing some words or typing words on the screen at it, or by showing uh, certain things in my PC. Directly like you go to control panel and show this is the component like this is the component network internet center user like this I, by showing that one. It is very easy to explain. Because I am explaining like that for make you to understand. But in interview. In interview. You cannot show any slides pictures or your system direct uh, is sh sharing of screen is not there right you have to tell them and make tell them with your words only not with the picture i am showing you not only words also showing with the words directly in a text form or a picture form or by uh, showing in my system Okay, in a system. So this is uh, system configuration about. So you can see my system configuration, right? So directly I'm showing the directly uh, my sharing my screen, showing some direct um, thing how to do it. Okay, so that will make you to understand. That is uh, okay, but how to without having any of that kind of stuff. You have to convey the information with your only your words and sentences. How to do it? How to do it? By practicing guys. Compulsory, do not be lazy guys. 
once your class completed your communication class is there or not i don't know afternoon do you have a communication class no sir. no sir you, you don't have a afternoon classes so okay no, then sir. Okay, you don't have all are my classes only. So then maybe for a next this week and next week also, maybe you want not be touched. But this is the correct time, guys. You have a time in afternoon and evening. Whatever the topic we covered or what are the suggestions have made it. Go through each and every one. Okay, go, go through it. Either whatever the material you find. First read it, first read it or check it and start build a how to present it, how to present. So how to check the system plan figures? What is the hard disk? What is CPU? What is difference between RAM and ROM? What is network? What is a router? What is a SSD? So first of all, what are the material you collect? Whether it is a text message or what is from my material or maybe from YouTube material or maybe somewhere, you, whatever it is, you find it. And then put a one blank screen, full blank screen. Or you turn your camera. You can, you can see yourself, right? So that is self uh, type. You can start giving answers. So prepare your own questions. Okay, I will share some questions also, but uh, try look at what is this? What is this? What is this difference between this and what is difference between that? And try to answer yourself. Prepare answering. Explanation words, sentences. You know, initially you may go it, but uh, you like, you know, so it will try to. The material will be prepared in your mind. The, the sentences, the lines in, in your mind. So you can start easy. Any interview, guys, there will be a nervousness. Whether as a fresher, you are attending an interview, as an experienced candidate, if I am attending a same interview, both are attending same interview. Both are service the same. You are facing whatever the interview you are facing now. If I am attending also, I feel a nervousness. There is no difference. Okay. There is a nervousness. But if I prepare well, I can able to present better than unpreparedness. Just a read and go instead of that one. I can present better way. So that will overcome my nervousness. So it builds my confidence. Okay. That is the point, guys. Okay. That's the point I want to say. That's why I tell this one. Okay. Now it is the time, guys. Once uh, your uh, communication skills class started, then morning technical, afternoon communication. So you don't get much additional time. Okay. So go through once. If you want any idea about any other thing you want to learn, also I will share. But afternoon I have a class, but be touched in a group, not a personal message. Anyway, three people are there. Okay. So be touch in a group only in, in a group. Also you can post some things and also will give. Okay. So that's the point. Uh, yeah, that is enough. <laughs> OK, so try that one. So try to prepare uh, for an interview. Do not think somewhere some there is a lot of time is there. We have to do interview that time. So we will prepare one day before. Do not get that kind of ideas. Okay. So here it is primary storage devices, RAM and ROM. Secondary storage devices are your hard disk, CD RAM, digital versatile disk, DVD, Blu ray disk, floppy disk, tape drives, zip drives. So here it is. It is divided into magnetic storages, optical storage devices, two parts. Magnetic storage devices, magnetic storage devices. Why it is called a magnetic storage devices? They use a magnetic materials to store the data. For example, you go to the floppy disk.
it is look like this one. So I will put images. So inside there is a this kind of disk is there now. This is completely made up of a magnet um, material like a tape drives are then uh, uh, maybe cassettes. Yeah, have you seen uh, VCR uh, a type of cassettes? The same material is on this one. It is stored in this kind of box. OK, so data will be stored in this disk. So that site is a magnetic. Tape drives. Yeah, very good. The tape drives are still using. Of course, we are uh, not using floppy disk, but we are using this kind of tape drives. Tape drives. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, sir. Um, here it is. It is a magnetic tape to store data. Earlier we have a audio tapes. Of course, still uh, now it is not there anyway. Audio, video, uh, data we can store it, and also people store regular data also. So that is also called as a DSS or DAT. Sorry, DDSS. DDS or that. OK. What is DDS is a, a digital data storage. DDS digital data storage. So this is a part uh, different parts. OK, it is a cheaper mainly used for storing backup. OK, still people are using to store the backup because it's the cheapest solution. Second one is now my example. A lot of places people are using uh, um, um, CC cameras. And they store data into hard disk. OK. Hard disk and it will be deleted uh, automatically kind of stuff. This is HP DDS 2 SP DDS 3 cartridge. OK, this is two. See it is. This is two. 8 GB. One cartridge size is 8 GB. OK, so different. OK, so some people store uh, the CC camera footage into the magnetic tapes. Once it is completed, they will change another one. So it will we can they can store uh, uh, for a very long time. Normally one month time only people store. So you want a more longer time. So if they will store here like a backup and they will keep it aside. OK, so like a certain period of time later they will over written our rider like that they will do it. Tape drives DDS also called as DAT digital audio tapes or DDS. OK, the same word DAT and DDS. Zip drives. Zip drives mainly I have seen zip drives in very old days. Maybe it still people are using uh, zip drives or not. Okay. So these are the uh, zip drives. It's look like a big flappy disk drive only. Point is um, when I when I have seen this zip drive part uh, is we store data. It is also magnetic tape inside, but little larger uh, data we can able to store. So like a, a CD-ROM size kind of stuff. OK, so it is a magnetic medium store 100 MB to 750 MB of data. It is uh, used to backup. Duplicate files, programs or a disk in case of original is lost. Okay. In generally, uh, you want to install operating system. Olden days, we have a Windows NT 2000 XP operating systems. 
it take lot of time to install it take a lot of time to install that uh, that took any big company like a 30 computers 50 computers 100 computers that time num num networking also not more so only computer side even networking servers that that type of uh, means wds servers not there okay not there in a very old days not even idea of uh, any for any person also okay so very less but what they will use this they use zip drives first of all they will install a os in one pc they'll take one pc as a reference pc first of all they install operating system applications and the required settings of course they remove few points in this one what they will do they will put uh, everything into one drive zip drive they use zip drive to they capture everything into one single drive now this drive will be connected to one by one machine and they copy this back means for installation for example it take 40 minutes for copying it take only 15 minutes see the time will be safe just uh, first of all they install all the uh, installations total installation take I mean only voice installation 40 minutes remaining installation take another 20 minutes so think like it is a one hour time okay so total installation of one hour copy to one simple uh, zip disk zip drive and connect it to another machine just to copy this thing into their hard disk and start your computer your system is ready only few settings you have to do it in starting so that is the use of zip drive okay yeah just uh, to make a point only guys but we will have to discuss the hard disk part we'll do it next is optical storage devices like a cd dvd cd dvd to read and write uh, on the disk we use a laser beam to read and write data in the dvd or cd we use we use laser light okay so difference between cd and dvd very simple first of all cd maximum data support is 700 mb some places it shows 750 some places it shows 640 640 or 700 both are right okay both are right actually they, they will 80 minutes of audio that is actually correct not 700 mb it is 700 mb or lesser little lesser it is also good because the edges will not store much thing so 100 percent wise 700 mb and dvd is 4.7 gb dvd 4.7 gb so it is support up to 18 gb if it is double but it is 4.7 is correct okay so now the cd usages and dvd usages are become lesser because of lot of earlier days selling of cd dvds are very high now even you cannot see the shops by for selling the cd dvd i don't know whether manufacturing is stopped or uh, anything has happened okay because people are not uh, can able to store data small data means it will be there in the cloud and drives people use it but still there is a lot of benefits of using cd dvd for example you have a certain data you don't want to use it for a lot of period of time means like for one year two years there is no use of that data maybe for example you collected uh, some songs you collected uh, some videos now you don't want to store in the your pen drives or anything or external hard disk and why why external hard disk also mobile part you don't want to store in your PC. You don't want to be there. It's no, not required to be there in your PC. You don't you are not using now, but you may use it after one year, two years. Then 
better to store in a CD DVD. OK, so you want to clean up your PC. I have a lot of data in my PC, but. It is really not required to store in external hard disk. Just I will copy. I'll put it away a place maybe in future. After two years, three years, maybe I will see once what is there in the data. In that purpose, DVD CDs are very helpful. Not to transfer the data like you want to share some data to another person to copy data into CD DVD. Not for that purpose. Okay, it is not much useful. Next is Blu-ray. What is a Blu-ray? Blu-ray is also same as look as a your CD DVD only. The size is same. The look it, the look size is same. The colors, the writing on the disc like a, it's a very high density drive Blu-ray disc. OK, and uh, it stores uh, more data like a 25 um, 25 GB data to almost 50 GB data is also there. OK, this is the Blu-ray disc and still there is some Blu-ray disc also there. People are trying to evaporate this <laughs> Blu-ray disc. Where we are using this Blu-ray disc is gaming station. Games like a PS4, PS5. So earlier uh, playstations and all okay so use a dvd type now it is there are having a blu-ray disc okay so this game dvds are a blu-ray disc that's it is 50 mb 40 mb the type of disc also there okay even uh, the empty disc is also costly the reader and writer of the Blu-ray disc is also costly. So automatically in a publicly public uh, people who are want to purchase a CD DVD. They don't want to purchase Blu-ray, even though there is a large amount of data we can able to store and it is uh, like a possibility is there, but still people don't like to purchase this Blu-ray is because the, the reader and writer of the Blu-ray is costly. OK. And uh, we can read Blu-ray disc from using a PS4, PS5 kind of stuff, but that is also suppressing now. So. You want a disc mod kind of stuff. So the cost is a little higher. OK. So. For example, you take uh, disk five. It's a digital edition. There is a digital edition and a disk. OK, so like this. So. Disk edition is there, no disk editions. So digital edition does not have a CD inserting. So then obviously it is cost little bit less compared to the CDs. The CD is there almost like a 10,000 difference is there. <laughs> OK. And and. The CD versions are releases very less, so compulsory person has to purchase. Digital versions and they will increase the digital version price. It's a complete uh, zooming zimix. OK, yeah, this is about it. So only one left over hard disk. Guys up to here, OK? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For a DVD and CD, so you can purchase. External, like you have external hard disk. Same way, the external uh, CD, DVD writers are there. Uh, like this. So. Check with uh, any Amazon, Flipkart kind of stuff. Go with, uh, <laughs> I think, so any company is also there, right? So HP kind of companies also providing. OK, this is HP. So purchase uh, any external DVD. Writers and CDs, if you have a CD DVD kind of stuff, you can do it. It is also cost is normal 1500 to 2000 rupees. So you will get it, but there is again problem. Again, problem means in um, 
old olden days not very olden days last 5 6 years back 4 5 years back you can go to a bookshop or a some fancy shop also you can purchase a cd or dvds okay both cost is same 10 rupees 15 rupees 20 rupees cost is same now even if you go to computer shop you may not purchase a cd or dvd okay of course it is very useful even i purchase external hard uh, external uh, drives i think i have it to one uh, but like where it is there uh, there is a cover is also there very good so we have to purchase a cover also what is the use of this uh, part uh, means if you but you got any um drivers dvd you want to install operating system and or you want to install a device drivers which is in the dvd then do it okay and the data in the dvd once it is safely uh, copied it cannot be corrupted that much easy okay i'm not saying it won't corrupted but virus won't affected on it the data may corrupted but not with the virus once it is written without virus so virus won't affect it is purely read only type yeah that is enough of story guys hard drives hard disk so here it is when you are saying about a hard disk first of all hard disk is a non volatile memories all are non volatile type only volatile means when power is off data is gone but all these devices even power is off data is still be there in the drives only these are all non volatile memories next what is the use of this hard disk or anything so we can store the data we can store the data and specifically why hard disk it is hard disk can store operating system applications data and different type of data like music documents videos kind of stuff in a hard disk we have a internal hard disk and external hard disk okay internal storage is like a hard disk ssds okay are there so internal storage is part so we can use for mainly for operating system applications and data internal storage is for operating system application and data data separate okay next you can put a, a, your hard disk internally and also ssds are there sata interface ssds and nvme.m.2 type of ssd is also there okay nvme.m.2 this is one single unit this is sata interface the ssds are all nand memories these are all nand this is called a nand memory like your pen drives your memory cards same as this one one more is there that is i didn't added here so that is called a e mmc e mmc this is e mmc embedded multi media card e mmc okay if you take a laptops like a mini laptops kind of stuff mini not mini pcs mini laptops e pcs e e pcs okay so you will see in this kind of laptops mini laptops okay e mmc laptops are there uh, from ali express from flipkart so you want a laptop like you want just i want to give yo no 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 this is 40000 rupees yeah that is not my idea like to show you guys traditional laptops 14 inches celeron full hd 4 gb ram 64 gb e mmc mini metal notebook support uh, 128 tf 
and uh, one terabyte uh, SSD expansion Windows 10 Home. Means they don't give the storage, they will give 64 GB eMMC card. Okay, maybe it is very sleek or anything. So we'll see how much weight and all we don't know. Go to the description. That is not my point to tell guys. That is not my. Okay, like this. This is the mine. Okay, maybe 2 GB. So look at this one. So you want a laptop, just uh, you need a laptop. That's it. So not a use of laptop. Then you can purchase this kind of a mini laptop and stuff. So this is 2 GB RAM, 32 GB eMMC. This is 100 GB, 100, uh, sorry, Windows 10 Home Edition is also given. Okay, it's 11 inches laptop. It is useful for a small web browsing kind of stuff, like a mail checking kind of stuff. It's a very old one. Okay, that's it is, uh, it is showing like. And you will get a HD cam, means like you want to show something like, you want to do any shows or uh, like you know like um, you want to attend a classes are you giving a classes web conferences zoom meetings kind of stuff okay that is useful video calls mostly you do video calls kind of stuff this kind of laptops are useful okay so you can go to where is this laptop? Laptops. Why it is showing like this? I want laptops. Uh, what is this? Okay, now just the laptops, not the gaming laptops, just the laptops with a very low price kind of stuff. Like this, see, you'll find this kind of laptops. So 17,000, 14,000, this is means 15,000, this is 18,000. These are all uh, Chromebooks kind of stuff. These people will get it. This is another. Uh, EMMC type. See this 64 GB EMMC you are getting this price. Yes, this is also 64 GB. It's a Chromebook. 15,000. Instead of purchasing a tab, guys, last time I seen. Yeah, this is a so sad for me. Uh, last time I purchased uh, one tab that is 17,000 EMI uh, tab it is okay now this is a lesser than that one price is suddenly drop off see it is it is 24,000 I've seen last price like a 21,000 then I don't buy I purchase a <laughs> tab instead of that one now the problem is this is as a laptop side kind of it's instead of of course tab is tab only but see can you see this is look like a laptop you can do a lot of things like a just you can style with the laptop no storage inside of course but still no problem so you can use some memory cards external storages use usb ports etc it's a chromebook so it is not a windows one anyway so it is useful for a this kind of stuff. That's it. That's uh, enough of EMMC. The point is EMMC uh, storage. Okay, that is also there. So different type of storages to store uh, operating system applications and data. You can store data externally in a USB drives, memory cards, and USB external hard disk also possible. But that's uh, only a small introduction, guys. Yeah, I'm not touching this one now, so I will, I will tell about that one later. So this is the basically how hard disk is look like. So we'll going with the, our hard disk part now. Okay. So what is the hard disk? Uh, here point is. 
to store data. It's a magnetic material with a, a non volatile memory. It is. Can you see there is a disk type? Disk. Hello, sir. Yeah, tell me, tell me. You are not audible, sir. I'm not audible. Now audible. You are audible, sir. Audible. OK. Now. So. So. I want something like this. Uh, it may be because of internet speed. Uh, you may not get a full audio from your side or from my side. Also, possibility is there. Yes, sir. Uh, right now is okay. No, right now it is okay. Okay, it's maybe a small flick. Okay. Yes. So, sir. so please check like a muting or closing, open kind of stuff it may work. Okay. okay. Now, anyway, it is uh, on a hard disk. Can you see this disk type? This is a disk. It is called as a plotter. Your data store in this platter only. Data stores in this platter only. Okay, data is stored in the this platter only. Next, this platter will be. It's made up of some aluminium with a magnetic board. Some kind of stuff is there. I'm not going with the materials. It attached to a motor called a spindle motor. The motor rotates this platter. Motor rotate this uh, platter. Okay, and this is this assembly is a some acuter uh, assembly kind of stuff. This is a acuter arm. This is acuter arm, and this is a permanent magnet. So what it will do? So when it will use this magnetic power to move this arm to inside to outside like this. So I will show you like this is a disk is rotating. In center we have a spindle motor kind of stuff means the entire layer. Is the magnetic material. Okay. Exactly say. This arm is moving right, so it is go inside and go to outside. Like this. So, I can't put a more accurately, but when you say like this, it can be like this or like this. You only can look at this part, not remaining part. Like this. What's our it is? Not a straight line, so just it is. <laughs> Better is always this one, okay? So it moving from here to here. For example, this is the read and write header. It's the magnetic material. It is read and write header. Read and write header is there. It move inside to outside and it is rotating so like that data will be read and write with this header here is a header may assembly is there it read and write on the platter by moving inside to outside and disk is rotating this is the assembly the more uh, size of the disk increases there is a two ways one is the plotter Density will increases, so then hard disk sizes the space like a uh, 500 GB, 1 terabyte, 2 terabyte, 300 GB, 40 GB, 20 GB. You know, earlier we have a 20 GB hard disk. I have used 40 GB hard disk is also there. Now, um, GB. Okay. So we have a 20 GB hard disk. Um, uh, 
are not showing like this. This is a, a plotter assembly. You can see it's a 20 G. So you want a 40 GB hard disk, then we have to use two plotters. Two plotters, two read and write headers required. Two read and write headers required. Now you want 80 GB, then four disk is required. So instead of increasing the number of disk inside, what they will use? They use a increase the density of this plotter. Means the more magnetic materials and more density, more writing uh, part increases. So then they increase. So same way, like uh, when I purchase one terabyte of external hard disk, it is about some size. Two terabytes of external hard disk, it is a different size. But later it is two terabyte become normal size. It depends upon how manufacturer manufacturing it. Okay. So it's a plotter. It's a cute arm and it contains a header, read and write header. This is a permanent magnet. This is the internal memory. But these hard disk having a logic board. Hard disk logic board is there. So each hard disk having a, a logic board. So what is the use of this logic board? So it will receive a data and uh, give it to your receiver data or instructions. So what what is the data I want to read or I write on the disk? It will understand and give that signals to hard disk inside of the hard disk. So that is the logic board. So internally that uh, spindle motor and all don't understand our computer instruction, right? So the instructions will convert and understand by this logic board and give the information to that one and get the information from your hard disk and give it to us. Give it to system. OK, these are the logic boards. And these logic boards having different interfaces. Initially, we have a IDE interfaces there. Integrated device electronics, that kind of interface is there. So it is a 80 pin connector. And still, this is the IDE based chipset only, but little technology is advanced. That is called a advanced technology attachment kind of interface game. Chipset is IDE chip only, but it is a advanced technology attachment. In that one, Initially, we have a PATA, Parallel Advanced Technology Attachment. This kind of attachment came. PATA interface. Okay, so this type of ribbon cables will connect it to our hard disk like this. So you see, this is a one side you go to motherboard and this ribbon cable go to your hard disk. See this one. In this ribbon cable, you have a two connectors. One go to uh, like this. First of all, one side is go to your motherboard and we have a two connectors. It means two hard disks or one hard disk, one CD-RAM or two CD-RAMs we can able to connect to one ribbon cable. Okay. So this is SATA type. This is SATA type. This is PATA type. Okay. This kind of interface you are uh, looking at. I'll show you that interfaces also. Like this. It's a pin connector. It's a power cable connection. This is pin connection. And this SATA having party pin ribbon cable we are using. SATA, SATA is a serial advanced technology attachment. Seven pin connector. It is a single wire. That is a ribbon cable, but it is a cable only. Just like this cable. Okay. So this is the logic board and this is the data connector. And this is a one kind of hard disk. It contains two type of power supply connection. But originally this is wrong. This is the power connection. This is the SATA power connector. Okay, from SMPS to hard disk connector. And this is data cable connector. Okay, I just I showed now. So how it is connect? One side, uh, this is the power connector. This is the data table uh, cable connector, 
and this is this cable another end go to motherboard okay, like this the people will connect at this power connection and this cable connector and another side it will go to motherboard like this connected to motherboard see it is how it is connected to motherboard like that so, see it is one side go to motherboard other side go to hard disk this is SATA interface. So compared to PATA, SATA is a much faster. SATA is a much faster than SATA. Because of it is a, the technology it is used uh, to extract data. Next, uh, people stop developing PATA type of interfaces. The, the type of technology kind of stuff, versions and all. And SATA is much improved. SATA 1, SATA 2, SATA 3 and SATA 3 interface is data transmission speed is 6 Gbps that much of data transfer speed. So PATA is not available nowadays but SATA is still available. Still we are using SATA of course. The SATA 3 is 6 Gbps data transmission speed. So we have a hard disk. This is the hard disk. Hard disk having two type of interface mainly PATA or SATA. Either PATA or SATA type of hard disk. PATA means parallel advanced technology attachment. SATA serial advanced technology attachment. PATA contains 40 pin connector which we are connecting to hard disk uh, to motherboard is using a 40 pin ribbon cable. Serial attached uh, adv serial advanced technology attachment SATA it is a seven pin connector. It is a seven pin connector, single wire from hard disk to motherboard. From hard disk to uh, uh, motherboard, a, a connector is there. Next, compared to this PATA, SATA is a faster SATA 3. It's itself, it is a six Gbps connector. In internal hard disk, there is a two type of internal hard disk, 3.5 inch hard disk 2.5 inch uh, hard disk is there. So mostly 3.5 inch hard disk is for desktops only. OK, it is not fit into your laptops anyway. Another type of uh, hard disk is 2.5 inch uh, laptop uh, 2 point inch hard disk uh, for laptops, mini PCs. We can use it. So even if you take a SATA SSDs, that is also 2.5 inches. So 2.5 inches SSDs, sorry, 2.5 inch internal hard for internal hard disk. Internal hard disk 2.5 inch for laptop and mini PCs we can use it, and uh, 3.5 inch hard disk for desktop inside a desktop. Next, external hard disk also there. As I said, external hard disk. So I didn't given a picture of external hard disk so i can try here it is external hard disk external hard disk uh, if for internal hard disk you need a data cable or a data connecting uh, the power uh, 12 volts power supplies 5 volts power supply this much of big power supply kind of stuff is there. And this is uh, having a logic board, right? So in this one only, the, the way of power management and connectivity is there. This external hard disk, we can connect with a simple USB. We can connect with a simple USB. See it is, even, Simply, you can connect with the USB 2.0, 3.0 kind of stuff, which is we are using to store data, or you can transfer the KV data. For example, I have a, some movies are there, or maybe I have a, a 10 GB data is there. I can't put that data into any pen drive or anything. It's very simple. It is. We can store the data into the external hard disk. You can travel with it. I can we can restore into anywhere. Like a, for example, earlier days we download a movies 
OK, in, in, a, in a computer. Now I want to. Don't want to put it in my computer, then I start so into external hard disk. Whenever I want, I will connect it to the TV and I can watch it. Right? So that's another simple point. OK, so guys, any person is compulsory required an external hard disk. Even one terabyte or two terabyte. Remove all your uh, currently unused data. Currently you are not using that data, so better to put it in that place. OK, for example, I will tell one example, for example. So here it is. This is my HCL SD and uh, there is a CTS SD is there. This is HCL SD and there is a CTS SD. Mostly I will get these two batches from last two days. The last few weeks. These two batches. Okay. All remaining batches are completed. They have their class data, class everyday class files, pictures. When I'm telling what are the pictures I've done like this, not the like that. It is little better pictures of. OK, and video recorded videos also there. Some record also there. Some pictures also there. And uh, in a class, uh, what are the, the text files are there? So now for every batch data will be created, but I want to keep this data. I don't want to delete. Maybe somewhere, someplace, there's important file contains some important information, some file contain information. So what I will do better to store this data into external hard disk. Photos, music, files, or a, a video files, which is we cannot store always in the PC, not immediately requirement. If you see here is my operating systems. I, mean, I download a lot of operating system from Internet. Some are evolution versions, some are uh, permanent versions. Whatever it is, I download. You see, this is Red Hat 6. This is CentOS 8, CentOS 7. This is um, Windows uh, 10 only. It is. Windows 10, Windows 10, Windows 10, Windows 10, Windows Server, Windows Server, Windows Server. This 2016 Server, 19 Server, 19 Server. Windows 10. This Hyper V. This is also Hyper V. This is Windows 10, Windows 10. This is a uh, Xen Server. This is a uh, Nagi OS. Free NAS. This is uh, Windows, uh, sorry, Cent OS 7 minimal. See, this is a very big data. So, you know, what is the total data size? 26 items. It is saying, but it is not showing any uh, properties. 68.4 GB. Now I want to reduce that much size. I don't want that all. Not uh, this is only sample, but I have a lot of uh, operating XP is there. Win Windows 2003 is there. Uh, Windows Vista is there. Windows 8 is there. Windows 7 is there. OK, so a lot of uh, other operating systems also there. I keep only few which we are using. This is Solaris 11. OK, so I kept uh, all other operating systems separately in the external hard disk. OK. So that is the main purpose of your external hand disk. That is about your hard disk guys. Then I will go to SSDs. Then we'll take a break because it's give one complete one part. What is SSD solid state drives in my uh, when I start uh, Knowing in my academies are somewhere it is SSDs there like you attend classes in my childhood days, not a childhood days, but somewhat in when you join in any computer course, hard disk, SSDs. SSD means solid state drive, CMOS means complementary metal oxide semiconductor. Okay, so this word is most common words BIOS, basic input output system. You know these things you pass in the computer exam. <laughs> OK, so. What is SSD solid state drive? No one knows what it is also that time. Now we know because SSD has become more popular in these days, guys. It is a NAND memory. 
data in the hard disk stores in the platters, but data in the SSD stores in the chips. There's direct chip like your pen drive memory cards. There's chipset data stores in that chips only. It is a lightweight because it does not contain a magnetic material or plotter, mortar. These kind of parts are not there in SSD and it is a simple as circuit board kind of stuff. It is very lightweight compared to hard disk. Size is a smaller size wise also it is the smaller, but 2.5 inches SSD, which is SATA interface SSD is there and there is another type of SSD is there that is called a M.2 NVMV M.2 type of SSD also there. That is a much smaller than 2.5 inch SATA interface SSD. Of course, small in size, lighter weight, easy to transport. You can put it in your packet, a pocket like a, just a, a one a small uh, a, a small biscuit kind of stuff. Okay, you can put it in a, your packet and you can carry. So that is very easy, lightweight, easy to carry, easy to transport less power consumption small in sizes and very importantly it is high very high speed in a data read and write data transmission data reading and writing of a data is it is suitable for a storing operating system and applications nowadays most of the laptops are coming with ssds you know in a servers also they use ssds for storing operating system and basic application because of faster booting is possible with SSD faster booting faster loading of operating system faster loading of application improves. But but there is a problem SSDs are comparatively hard disk SSDs are costly. OK, like a, you want to purchase an SSD. You want to purchase an SSD. So this is a Seagate external hard disk. See the two terabyte of external hard disk is 5,499 after a price drop off. See, I got a storage. It is my internet slow or website is slow. See, this is a external hard disk are showing it is memory cards. It is showing. So yeah, I want to go to SSDs. See that this is the one terabyte of SSD. It is 8499. So 500 GB laptop desktop internal storage. Of course, this is also SSD. This is the cost 500 GB. One terabyte. See, this is a green SATA, 240 GB cost. So that's the difference. So the compared to the cost differences, SSDs are costly. It is not suitable for your random data storages. Just for a, a sample, I will show you one more thing. That is, if you see my H drive, it is a 531 GB total size. Because it's a hard disk, I can bear I can able to bear about the cost. Okay, it's a part of hard disk. Okay, and now my total virtual machines occupied uh, around uh, 500 GB. Then I have only 32 GB left. Okay, if I have a SSDs in place of this one, it's more cost for me. Okay, see it is, see it is. Two hard disk are there. One is 500, another one is one terabyte of hard disk. Okay, so then I can store uh, big data, normal data. I can store it. Okay, so it is a costly as compared to SSD, SATA. But compared to normal hard disk, it is faster, lighter, less power consumption, easy to transport. No problem. Normal hard disk, it's very difficult to transport also. Not only a weight wise guys, it is having a, some loose parts inside. It may damage. OK, so here I have written 250 GB of SSD. If you want to purchase, you can get a one terabyte of hard disk instead of that one. 
not at double, it is almost like a four times. At least three times difference is there. This is SATA interface hard disk SSD. Sorry, SATA interface SSD. This is M.2 type of interface. It means it is directly inserted into a motherboard like a RAM or a CPU. I already shown that one pictures to you, so you can try if you want it. This is M.2 SSD slots on motherboard or like this. You can see this. This is a SSD directly inserted on a motherboard. Because of this directly inserting on a motherboard like your RAM, okay, like a RAM, so it faster. It is faster. You know, some people want to go with the SSDs and they'll purchase these SSD. Even myself, I don't know earlier, I purchased these kind of SSDs. This is a SATA interface SSD. See the read and write speed of this uh, SATA interface SSD to the nvmv.m.2 type of interface, read and write speed. It is a faster. Even it is a costlier than this one, but you need a speed better to choose this one. You need your 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 aim is not a speed. Then better to choose hard disk. OK, better to choose regular hard disk. OK, that's my point. Of course, the, yeah, everything has their own benefit part is there. This is we cannot use as an external hard disk part. But this is we can convert into external hard disk. What are it is guys SSDs or NAND memories. Two type of interfaces wise like a SATA SSDs are there. NVMV.M.2 SSD two type of SSDs are there. So this is a having a SATA interface. OK, we can connect using SATA interface to motherboard. We can connect it. This is sample read and write speed of this particular SSD. Next one is this is the costlier than this one, but it is faster than SATA interface SSD. This is a read and writing speed. You can directly insert into your motherboard, both laptop and desktop motherboards. You can insert directly. OK, you can install directly. You can screw it. That's it's give a much speed. That's about your SSD and hard disk. Next part we will see hard disk partitioning and what is MBR and GPT. So I have taken a lot of time. I didn't get